Hey, how's it guys? In this video, I'll be covering how to use a mouse to move a frameless window. Alright, so by default, uh, if you make a window as a frameless window, here, let me show you what I mean. So inside my, my app class, if I implement the set window flex, if I use the qt dot frameless, oops, frameless window hints, uh, name value. If I launch the window, noticing that the tab menu is now disappear. At this point, uh, there's no way for me to use my mouse or to use the keyboard to move the window. And here, let me close this window. If I come out this line and put it back, I now have the menu bars back. And I can uh, hold this uh, menu bar and move the window around. And the reason why we want to uh, use uh, this uh, frameless window hand setting is because sometimes we want to implement our own uh, menu bar handler. Or we want to design our own uh, top menu bar. And to be able to implement uh, the uh, feature or the function to be able to use our mouse to move a frameless window, we need to mainly handle two uh, building events. Here, let me increase the font size a little bit more. All right, so the first event we need to handle is the mouse press event. So this event is going to fire every time we press our mouse key. Once we press our mouse key, and if we attempt to uh, move an object, then the mouse move event is going to fire. So it's going to be uh, action one, and it's going to be action number two. Oops. Now going back to the mouse press event, we need to store the global position. Here I'm going to create an attribute called all position. And from event, I want to retrieve the global position and assign the position value to uh, this attribute. Now, once we perform the uh, after moving uh, animation or simulation, we need to import a cue point class. And we're just coming from the Qt core module. We need to figure out the distance between uh, the old position and the current uh, mouse location. And we can figure out the distance by referencing the current global position minus uh, the previous position. And let's name the output as delta. Now if I print the delta object, right, so here, let me stop again. So this is going to be uh, zero and zero. The last uh, mouse release position is always going to be where the window should be. So we can uh, use the move method. And here, uh, the formula is going to be, we'll grab the windows x value plus delta's x value. And this is going to be our uh, x corner followed by the y corner. So it's going to be delta. Delta dot y value. Then we need to update the old position uh, value. And that's it. Now if I launch the window, and if I hold my mouse key, I now can drag my frameless window around. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.